Bitcoin mixers are becoming increasingly popular as more people understand the importance of maintaining their financial privacy. In general, it's crucial to know how to pick and whether to use a centralized or decentralized mixer. When it comes to mixing coins, there are two main categories, centralized and decentralized. This article will explain their differences and help you decide which is right for you. As digital currency technology evolves, so do the methods of protecting our financial privacy. Moreover, as people learn about their benefits, crypto mixers popularity increases over time. Bitcoin mixers anonymize and mix digital currency transactions, making them harder to track. When you use a Bitcoin mixer, your original Bitcoin funds get mixed with those of other users, making them untraceable. Each mixer proposes different options. For instance, we can mention delaying transfers, which makes it even harder to trace the source and destination of funds. Here are a few strategies commonly used by these systems. There are at least five key advantages to using a Bitcoin mixer. First, it provides an extra layer of security against theft or monitoring. By shuffling and mixing your coins with other users, you can ensure that nobody knows which coins belong to whom. Second, these services are typically fast and reliable. Most mixers complete the process within minutes while ensuring your anonymity. Third, many mixers come with services that allow you to adjust the parameters of your transactions. In order to avoid suspicion or exorbitant costs, specify a delay before the system may send you the money. Another strategy you may want to consider is to restrict the number of coins to mix. Fourth, most mixing services offer a variety of features, such as automated mixing, customized transaction fees, and more. This allows users to tailor the experience to their specific needs. Finally, many mixers feature built-in customer assistance to answer process questions. They also offer advice and guidance on maximizing your anonymity while using Bitcoin. This guide would not be complete if we only looked at the positive side of crypto mixers. History teaches us that no technology comes without potential issues. The same applies to Bitcoin mixers, with a few concerns that we should keep in mind when using them. First of all, many people associate crypto mixers with illegal activities. Anonymity and privacy appeal to those who seek to circumvent anti-money laundering regulations, dodge taxes, or commit crimes. As a result, governments have become increasingly suspicious of these services and can even shut them down if necessary. However, most crypto mixer users are law-abiding citizens who merely seek privacy and security. Another potential issue is that some Bitcoin mixers can be unreliable and may even scam users out of money. Sometimes, these services can disappear suddenly after taking the user's money or not delivering the promised service. That's why it is essential to do your research and only use well-reviewed and established services. Lastly, it is important to remember that Bitcoin mixers can also be vulnerable to hacking attacks. As with any other online service, there are always risks of having data stolen or funds lost. Thus, technically advanced services that prioritize user security tend to be a good choice. Now that you understand how a crypto mixer works, let's look at the differences between a decentralized and centralized mixer. Let's begin with a simple statement, a network with no central entity overlooking the mixing process is a classic decentralized mixer. Decentralized mixers consist of several nodes or computers that handle user transaction requests. A node takes a user's request, mixes the currencies, and returns them to the user without a central authority. The advantage of decentralization is that it eliminates the possibility of a single entity controlling the entire network.